Hey everyone, Ify here. In this video, I'm going to share with you my opinion about these Perry Ellis fragrances. Now, before I start talking about each and one of them individually, I'm going to say that they do share some similarities. They do share the same bottle design, the only difference is the bottle, the color of the bottle. These are the 50 ml size bottles. You know, ml stands for magic liquid. The other similarities are in terms of the smell. And I'm not saying that they smell similar. I'm just saying that they are all a bit more and a bit less synthetic and none of them is sweet. They are all fresh fragrances. Well, maybe one of them is a bit, a tiny bit sweet. I'm not going to talk about the notes because you can find those by yourself on the internet. I'm just going to say how this fragrance smell to my nose and I'm going to talk about the performance. So this one is Perry Ellis 360 Green for Men. How this fragrance smell to my nose? Well, this one is supposed to be an aquatic fragrance. What I'm getting from it is a fresh, fruity, soapy smell, a cheap soap because that synthetic smell turns it into a cheap soapy smell. Now is this fragrance worth buying? Absolutely not. The performance on this one is like the worst performance I ever seen on a fragrance. Let me give you a very straight example. Ask a guy to go into a room and have him fart right there. Then get the fragrance and do this in the same room. Then go out and come back in about 1-2 minutes. You will notice that the fart is still there while the fragrance is absolutely gone. I'm very serious, farts last longer than this perfume. Stay away from this fragrance, it's definitely not worth your money. The next Perry Ellis, you will probably say this one is Perry Ellis Blue or Light Blue. No, this one is Perry Ellis 360 for men. I'm thinking it's supposed to be like the original version. If you have seen my 2017 Summer Picks, you will remember this fragrance because it actually was my fifth place in that video. I picked it because it's not a very great fragrance, but it's something different. And even though it's very synthetic, I am able to pick up some notes. For example, I am able to pick up the lavender and the fresh spicy smell even though it has no aquatic notes to my nose it smells aquatic the other one didn't smell aquatic and the notes it had aquatic notes this one has no aquatic notes but to my nose it smells aquatic so yeah a fresh spicy aromatic fragrance that will get you to smell good about 8 plus 9 hours, maybe 10 hours, and a very good 3 hours projection. So is it worth buying? Yeah, I think it's worth buying if you find it at a good price. It could replace some fragrances that you've used and used and you've got bored of them. That was Perry Ellis 360 for men. Now let's move on to the last fragrance of today's video. Now I've kept the best for the last. You've probably seen this fragrance in other reviews. Many reviewers have talked about this fragrance. And this one is Perry Ellis 360 Red for Men. If you didn't see this fragrance ever before, I'm going to say that this is very similar to Aqua di Gio by Giorgio Armani. I'm also going to say that I like this one more. This is probably one of the safest and most versatile fragrances ever created. I'm literally saying that you can wear this fragrance while going to bed and it's not going to offend neither you and the person sleeping next to you. You're probably asking yourself why haven't I picked this fragrance instead of this one in my top 5 summer fragrances for 2017. Well, because this one I've been wearing and the smell is very generic. These days you will smell it on many other people and this one is something different. I needed something refreshing and new to my nose, not something that I've been used to wear many, many times. The performance of this one is also very good. I've got well past 9-10 hours with this fragrance and projection is very good in the first 2 hours and then it's going to be a projection of a type like now and then meaning that from time to time you're going to get whiffs from it 
So, as a final conclusion, is this worth your money? Absolutely. There are probably many other Armoth, uh, not Armoth, I'm used to talking about Armoth fragrances. There are probably many other Aqua Di Gio clones out there, like Armoth Blue Ohm that I used to own and even though that one has a size of a 100 ml and the price, you could find a better price for that one than for this one, I would still rather buy this one out of all of the Armoth, out of all of the Aqua Di Gio clones that are out there. Guys, this was my take on these Perry Alex fragrances. Until the next video, keep smelling good guys. See you next time.